Howdy, 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 folks. Uh, today, we are going to go over how you do a cargo run. Now, I'm not going to dig into the what's the best material or resource to take. Uh, I'll give a few opinions on recommended ships for different price points. Uh, but overall, if you've got a ship that's got a cargo grid, you can run cargo. And the neat thing about it is, is that as long as you have the ship and a little bit of startup capital, you can make money. Uh, now, since 318 came out, yes, piracy is a little bit more of a issue than it was before. But overall, it's still really, it's a really rare problem uh, in terms of persistence you're not going to have you know a million pirates chasing you because you picked up a couple of boxes you know um, and in general like the more valuable the stuff you have and the bigger more of the more valuable stuff you have so if you've got a you know a, a c2 star lifter or even an m2 fully loaded yeah losing a full load of cargo could could be a a really big deal but you know if you're flying a cutlass black or something smaller you know losing a load of cargo it sucks but it's not you know, I was hoping it would clip that back through the ground but I guess it didn't want to comply so we'll just land with this pad over here so uh, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to a website, uh, it's UEX Core. There's quite a few different websites that do a great job of tracking uh, commodities, helping you plot routes for cargo running, all that. And whatever works for you works for you. Uh, I really prefer UEX Core because I have a lot more flexibility and just kind of works with the way my mind interprets information. Um, but while I'm getting out here, any ship you've got that has a cargo grid, great to use. Uh, this is my Taurus, Constellation Taurus. I, I love this ship. Uh, it's a bit on the pricey side for a lot of folks. I, I never thought I would spend 200 US dollars on a uh, inside of something for a video game but turns out I was wrong because I did and I love it I really love it uh, you know good cargo capacity decent fighter uh, and can get out of sticky situations um, but even going down to starter ships you know the cutter the uh, Mustang Alpha I have an Avenger Titan which is my very, like super hard recommendation for a, a beginner ship. It, it's just so versatile. Um, but anyway, as long as you've got a ship that has a cargo grid, you can start trading cargo. And I'm here on Shubin Sal 2 on Lyria. Uh, you know, find a pad, land on a pad, find the trade terminal building you know, every every landing site that I know of on moon surfaces and even most of your planetary uh, stations are going to have a trade terminal commodity shop we're going to come here and going to select our ship let's get you a little better view there see so here it's telling me what's available I came here for a Grecium. And it locked it to those parts of the grid. It shows you your grid right there. I'm going to go ahead and just grab titanium as well. I know titanium is not a super high value item. But uh, I'm not real worried about that. Complete our purchase. All right, and it shows us how much of our grid is full over here. 
down here this is telling us how many of each SCU of each item we have all right so the ship's full we're gonna go ahead and back out of the commodity shop uh, small note folks if you're out and you're and you're doing something you got to log out and you're at a planetary site please don't do it inside of the buildings because it seems to bug out the doors so that nobody else can use that building until the server resets uh, I don't know if that's a hundred percent true but that has definitely been happening quite a bit uh, this patch cycle we've got our ship full we're gonna pop over and one of the things it's an extra step and a lot of folks don't like it but I've I've definitely found it to be good to do is to just get over there and look at your cargo grid make sure that the stuff's actually there it hasn't happened often but there have been a couple times I've bought a complete load worth of whatever and then I go to look in my ship and there's nothing there but this is not one of those times we'll go ahead and close it up uh, sometimes when you go to different places around the verse you'll come across just crates of stuff lying around uh, you can pick those up uh, however if you didn't buy it uh, it's gonna be marked as stolen so in my experience the best place to sell that stuff is your scrap yards places like that uh, however they can be much more kinetic environments uh, the uh, folks that frequent the scrap yards aren't uh, aren't as friendly another small note that I did not include in the initial uh, landing here is make sure that you power your engines off but leave the ship on because if it is off it is a prime target for somebody who just wants your stuff all right we set our point pop over to uh, area 18 and sell this stuff uh, while we're traveling let's, let's talk about some things so as you probably noticed pretty quickly that was super easy all that you gotta have are those two things I mentioned earlier you need a ship that has enough cargo capacity to, and an actual cargo grid and you need a little bit of startup capital um, you know if you're out running a bunch of box missions and you're in an Avenger Titan, you know, check the, uh, when you go to your, your last stop for a, a delivery mission, check that UEX site, see what that site, what that stop has for sale. And, you know, if it's something valuable, hey, grab a few SCU out of it. Why not make a little extra money, you know? Um, when I first started, all I had was my Avenger Titan and I bought a Cutlass Black. That's what I would do. I would just run box missions, make a little bit of money. And uh, it's also a great way to see the verse, you know, get out and see what the game has to offer. See what uh, neat things have been put in. Because there's some pretty interesting... Uh, locations already and they're just gonna get more like that's I'm so excited about that uh, I don't know if any of you guys have visited Loreville 2.0 yet in 3.19 but it it's it is nice which is not something I ever thought I would say about Loreville that's definitely my least favorite place but uh, from just a visual standpoint it's it's crazy how improved it is and even you know some of the mining places you land or or the processing stations you know they they look just so fantastic another thing to note is if you're a miner 
or you're thinking about getting into mining, uh, you need to pair that mining ship with cargo vessel. Because once you have your, your ores processed, you're going to need that cargo vessel to take it to market. And it works the same way. Uh, you know, you just handle it from the refinery terminal, tell it where to, which ship to send it to, go get your ship, and you're going to do exactly the steps we're doing right now. You know, fly to your your local TDD and uh, trade it. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Let's see if I can land without embarrassing myself. I haven't flown this ship in about a month, thanks to finals. A little rundown on my personal recommendations for kind of different stages of cargo running. You know, if you're just starting off and, and you're not wanting to spend a whole bunch of... No. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, close enough. I did add the caveat at the beginning that I was gonna embarrass myself, so I'm, I'm not too ashamed. And the ship didn't explode. So, win-win. Anyways, uh, you know, if you're just starting in this game and you uh, are thinking about doing cargo running, get a cutter, get a Avenger Titan. I mean, personally, I recommend the Avenger Titan. It's a lot more flexible as shit. And this is the problem with that ship. I'm just going to get away from it. Hopefully I can get it stored before it decides to implode. We'll find out. Actually, I really shouldn't blame the ship on that one. That's just me flying poorly. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you know, get you an Avenger Titan. Get a get a cutter. Uh, either one's great. The Avenger Titan's a little more flexible. You know, you can use that for the first two or three tiers of bounty hunting pretty easily. You know, it flies really well. You know, if you if you like running cargo and you're, you're you want a little more flexibility, or, or maybe you just want to move up to a bigger ship, you cannot go wrong with the Cutlass Black. It is the single most flexible ship in this game. I, oh god, they're so great. I know uh, a lot of folks don't like the Drake aesthetic. Uh, Welcome I'm not to the overly a fan of most Drake ships, but I, I love the Cutlass Black. Uh, small side note here, folks. When you land at your destination, Please store your ship. Because uh, sometimes it will not let you trade. It won't register the cargo grid for the ship until it's stored. Please visit us again. Now, if you've got a Cutlass Black and you're wanting to step up again... Uh, that Taurus is an amazing ship. I mean, you can you can solo VHRT bounties with it. Uh, if you've got a gunner, you can run ERT bounties. Very little issue. And 174 SU of cargo is quite a bit. And then the last tier, uh, to me, there's only two. There's your star lifters, your A2s, M2s, and C2s, and the Caterpillar. I personally, I'm not a fan of the Caterpillar because it flies exactly how it looks, like a box, like a wet box. Uh, though it does have its uses, uh, you can you can use that thing as a light carrier. You know, it's not a, it's not a useless ship by any means. However, the C2, it, well, any of the star lifters, but specifically the C2 and the M2, the M2's got 500 something SCU cargo. Uh, the C2 has just shy of 700. And they fly so well. I mean, they fly better than most of your, your medium sized ships. Uh, they are prohibitively expensive, it's five and a quarter. 
mil in game for the C2. Um, I don't know what they run on the pledge store because I haven't seen them for sale on the pledge store since I've been playing. Now that arriving. is one of my dream ships though. Uh, and here in a few weeks, this is mid-May, uh, here in a few weeks, supposedly we're going to be getting the spirit ships from Crusader, which are going to be competitive with the Freelancer and the Cutlass Black, and I'm really thinking about getting one just because of how well the Starlifters fly. If the spirits fly half as well, uh, that'll be a, an amazing daily driver. But we'll see. I'm super excited. So we've landed at uh, Area 18. You know, if you're at any of the other cities, you're looking for the TDD building. I'm just going to come in here. And the door is finally open. And as always, remember, if, uh, if you don't jump over the rail, you know, just why even bother playing games? I mean, you got to live a little, you know. All right, and it's the exact opposite of what we did for buying. Oh, wrong ship. Huh. We'll select our ship. It's going to show us what we have for sale. Right, click that. Looking at what? That's 18 mil profit. Not 18 mil, excuse me. 18,000 profit. Uh... Overall, about 35k profit. I didn't even bother to check what was the best items for for sale. So, not too bad, you know. Uh, not too bad. <sighs> Either way, folks. Uh, I mean, that's it, you know. That's how you handle a cargo run. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna. Add a link in the description to UEX Core. Uh, anybody that's wanting to do cargo running, great website to use. Uh, you know, you can select the sh the exact ship you're you're wanting to run cargo in. You can see an estimate of what the prices are at different places. Uh, it's updated pretty frequently, so they're they're normally pretty close. And it's just a great way to kind of plot out, you know. I'm going to stop here and buy this much and I'll go to my next spot and then know where you're going to sell it at. I think my character's telling me I'm running on too long. <laughs> so either way, I uh, hope that was informative. Uh, if you liked the video, if you have anything you'd like to add or questions for me, uh, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Uh, and hope I see you folks out there in the verse.